Good news of great joy. Luke chapter 2 verses 8 through 11. And there was in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This Christmas week, we are going to talk about good news. Good news of great joy joy. As the angels announced to the shepherds, uh, they said, we are bringing you good news of great joy. News that's going to fill your lives with overflowing, abundant, immeasurable joy. The sense of happiness, of, of exuberance, of, of just uh, being uh, set free, of liberated of freedom. This joy, sense of joy, good news of great joy. Uh, what was that joy, the reason for their joy that the angels were pointing to? They said, today in the city of David, there is born a savior, and this is Christ the Lord. The fact that a savior has come into this world should, uh, 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 should bring you great joy. And this is not just for the shepherds, they said, it is for all people, which means it is for you and me today, in our day. You know, this is 2,000 years since that pronouncement was made by the angels to those shepherds. And yet that, that fact remains, or that truth holds good for you and me today, that Jesus Christ, who was born the Savior, has come into this world. And that announcement, the fact that the Savior has come, uh, brings us great joy and you and I can rejoice in that be happy about that why can you and I be happy about that of course because of what the Savior has done for us and what the Savior has brought into our lives and what is the Savior Jesus Christ our Lord has made available for us the joy of our salvation the joy of knowing that we are saved that we are people who have been brought out of darkness into His marvelous light, people whose sins are forgiven, people who have been brought to be, become the sons and the daughters of God, are people who know that uh, you know, we have been washed in the blood and that we have this place in God's kingdom, that we are born again, we are new creation people. This all made possible because of the Savior, Christ our Lord. And because of this, you and I can have great joy. Now, of course, you know, this joy is not about uh, just earthly things. It's not about things that, you know, like gifts we receive and, and temporary things that we may have. But this is something that is that far outweighs uh, the joys of temporal things. Of course, there's nothing wrong in enjoying temporal things, but this is joy of being saved, the joy of having a savior in our lives, the very one who sets us free from sin and brings us into this wonderful place in God. And he says, this is good news of great joy. I want to encourage us today to just to rejoice in our salvation. Be happy because you're saved. Be happy because you and I have a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Rejoice, be happy in the Savior. And the salvation is made available to you and me. Good news of great joy. Let's pray. Lord, we just take time to thank you for this great gift of Christ our Savior and the gift of salvation. Thank you that we are saved. Thank you that we are washed. We are your sons and daughters. We belong to you, that you are our heavenly Father, that we are out of darkness and in your marvelous light. Thank you for our salvation and for this good news of great joy. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.